Hey y'all, thanks for joining me. Today, I've officially completed two months of my six month no shopping challenge. Feels a lot longer than that. First, I wanna to touch on what my challenges have been. Instagram, oh my gosh, spring's almost here and there's a lot of cute clothes online. Loft, you're killing me. Anthropology, oh, Gap, all my favorite brands are coming out with all their spring clothes and I want it all. I want all the gingham. I want all the peplum. I want all the fluffy sleeves. Everything is just really cute. So Instagram is a challenge. The next thing would be uh, Alex and I booked a trip. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. And I want to buy all the things for the trip. Normally, if I went on a vacation, I'd spend a couple hundred dollars just buying outfits for the vacation. So it's really hard for me not to do that. Next, I want to touch on what I bought. So I continue to have to buy clothes for my babies because they are growing. I feel like every two months I have to buy them something because they're outgrowing what I had. And it's getting warmer. I had to go to Once Upon a Child. I've been to Gap and I've gotten, especially Whitney, items because I don't have any hand-me-downs for her. Um, Walt's pretty much covered. I don't have to buy him anything. I have all of Turner's old clothes. So with Whitney, I've gotten her a couple of things, which is always fun because she's a girl. I got this little dress from Once Upon a Child and it has matching bloomers and it was $3.50. And I got a cute, um, and I bought a few other little you know, onesies and dresses for her, especially from G Baby Gap as well. So try to spend less, but I've still bought some stuff. For Valentine's Day, that was a big challenge. I'm trying to buy less home decor in general and just be very conscious of my spending. When Valentine's came around, I wanted to buy all the things. I just love all of the Valentine's stuff. I love the pink and the red and the white. I just want it all, especially from Target. So I walked through and I picked up a lot of stuff and I ended up putting it all back. I bought Turner two t-shirts because he's wearing long sleeve every day to school. And so he really needed some shirts. I put that in a little baggie and then I bought him a little heart, like a Star Wars heart because it's all about the packaging to him. He doesn't care how disgusting the chocolate tastes inside. He just wants the cute box. So way to go Target. But for Alex, I got him a bunch of Reese's like a bag full of Reese's. So we didn't go crazy. We didn't splurge. I, re I reeled it in. That was really hard. Moving on. I'm still collaborating with brands and if they want to send me clothes, I am more than willing to work with them. So this is not one of those challenges where I won't accept anything. If they're going to give it to me for free, I'll take it. So I worked with Dr. Scholl's and I got these amazing leather slip-on sneakers. And you guys, these are awesome. I wear them with jeans to work. They're casual enough to wear with shorts, dresses, whatever. They kind of go with everything. So I'll link those below if you're interested. Also from Dr. Scholl's, I got these leather tan loafers. These are perfect for work because they're comfy and casual, but they kind of kind of dressy. So I got those this month. I also collaborated with Hannah Anderson and they sent me some clothes for the babies, which is awesome because spring's almost here and I need some warmer clothes. I just love all of the color. So this is an outfit for Whitney or it could be for Walt polka dots with matching leggings. I got both of them a jumper like this and it has buttons on the bottom. Um, and then Walt has a gray one with yellow on the front, but again, mix and match either baby can wear these. I don't care if Walt wears pink. And this adorable dress. Look at the pockets. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with this dress. And it also has bloomers with it. And then these rainbow t-shirts, which I got matching ones for the babies. And then these little striped pants, which match the jumper. They're just so soft. And I love Hannah Anderson because... It's very simple designs. It doesn't have like, my mom's cool or my dad has big muscles and like giant trucks on the front. I hate those clothes. I just want 
simple and colorful and mix and match, mix and match. So good job, Hannah Anderson. Next, I want to share with you what I've learned and kind of reflect on February. So I would say that, again, I'm really trying to focus on spending less on crap I don't need and more on experiences. And one of those exciting experiences is Alex and I booked a trip to Playa del Carmen. Woo, 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 woo. I'm going to drink margaritas and pina coladas on the beach. And I'm so excited. And the best part, no kids. Yeah. But with that trip, you know, I have, I'm not worried about buying a bunch of clothes for it or, you know, I just feel like I have more money to spend on things like this because I haven't been buying a bunch of clothing. So that's awesome. For Valentine's Day, usually I would, you know, just get a bunch of decor and crap and decorate my house and buy a bunch of plates and just kind of go all out. And because I was able to save that money, I actually bought my mom a really awesome gift basket and I sent it to her. I actually made the basket. So I went and I bought, you know, all of the candy that she really likes. I bought her some nail polish and some beauty products that I really think she would enjoy. And I really wanted to bless her and, and just, I wanted to be with her on Valentine's day. And so I spent almost a hundred dollars on it, but I didn't care. I mean, I wanted to give to her. And in the past, I feel like I'm kind of stingy with my money and I'm not, I'm not giving. Um, so I was happy to spend that money on my mother. Alex and I planned a date night and we got a babysitter for the very first time. And I don't know why we haven't done this sooner. Um, our neighbor is right next door and she's used to watching the twins. So she came over, but they were already asleep. Turner was up. He watched a movie and we went with our best friends and we went out to eat and then we went dancing and it was such a good time. And I want to do that every single month. But needless to say, when we went out, I wasn't worried about, you know, eating out and how much it was going to cost. And I'm always kind of like, don't drink too much beer at the restaurant because that's going to cost a crap ton of money and we can't afford that. But I didn't worry about that. And then we went out to the bar and of course, Alex is like, Oh, you want to drink? You hear some random people we just met? Oh, yeah, buy them around. He has a very giving heart when he drinks. Well, that's it. Month two down, four more to go. All right, guys, let me know how you're doing on the challenge. If you're joining with me, leave me a note in the comments. Let me know what's hard for you. What have you been doing well? I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask. Thanks for joining me.